Hey there, YouTubers. I've been getting a lot of questions on my channel lately over Deal Extreme because if you've ever been to my channel, most things on my channel or most of my videos are about Deal Extreme. And I thought I'd make a video just going over what I've ordered from them, whether I liked it, whether I like, you know, just what I think of them as a company in general. Um, but to start the video, if you noticed, the camera is different. Hi. Um, I recently got an iPhone 4S, and I'm filming with that right now, on a, uh, Gorilla Pod that I actually ordered from Deal Extreme. <laughs> so the tripod I'm using is from Deal Extreme, and I really like it. It was like seven dollars. It was really nice. So I guess I'll just start out with my favorite things from Deal Extreme. And at the top of that list would be this. They don't actually sell this product anymore, but it is a uh, fake iPod Nano. I have an unboxing of this on my channel. It's four gigabytes. Um. It has a 300 gigapixel camera, which is 0.3 megapixels. It's uh, 4 gigabytes right there. Let me focus on that. So it's 4 gigabytes. Um, the interface is exactly like an iPod Nano. The scrolling wheel actually works. It's touch sensitive. Um, you can see here it's got music, videos, photo, camera, whatever. And I've found it to have really good sound quality. This was around $26 when they sold it, I think, and it's probably the favorite thing, my my favorite thing that I've ordered from Deal Extreme. It runs on the Apple 30-pin dock connector and a 35 millimeter headphone jack, and at the top it even looks the same. The only thing different is it doesn't say Apple on the back. And um, here's my actual iPod Nano, and you can see that they are very similar. Obviously the fake one's thicker, and on the back it doesn't say iPod and stuff, but other than that, it's pretty nice. Um, next favorite thing I guess I could say is, obviously I own an iPod uh, Nano, like you just saw. I own an iPhone 4S, and I have an iPod Touch 32GB 3rd Gen, so... I have a lot of iPods that I need to charge, and at school, especially the iPod Touch, the battery dies quickly. And um, there's still that battery bug on the iPhone, so its battery dies. So I ordered this. This is an external battery pack. See, it's fully charged. Um, it's 1900 milliamps, which will charge this, I found, about three times full charge, and the iPhone about once full charge. Um, Bought this from Deal Extreme. I don't remember the exact name of it, but it's an external battery pack. They have a bunch of them on there for really good prices. This was about eight dollars, and it included one of these uh, sync cables since it charges off the same connector as the iPod, so you can put that in both. So that's probably my second favorite thing. I take this everywhere I go. It's really useful. I I would suggest this one highly if you have iPods or even if you just have one of these. Um, I need to speed this up. This is going to be a long video. Um, next up would be this right here. Get the iPod out of the way. This is a fake shuffle. I unboxed this as well. Um, it's two gigabytes. It's an MP3 player. It has the audio jack and volume up, volume down, and skip and playback, whatever. I can't say much about this because I used it for about two weeks and it stopped working. Don't know why, I just did. Um, I only paid about $12 for it though, so you know you can't expect much for a $12 MP3 player. Um, moving on, from this point it's not really an order of favorites, it's just what I have here. Um, I got this for my iPhone. It's a silicone horn amplifier, not much to say. You put your iPhone in it and it amplifies the sound. Um, yeah, this was about $3. It's pretty nice. It hasn't ripped or anything. I've used it a few times. Yeah. Um, and then I have a few SD cards and my old uh, reader broke. So I picked this one up for about $0.98. Cents and 
it, it's a card reader and it works. I, I really don't know what else to say about it, but it works. <laughs> like I said, it was about 98 cents. And all this stuff's from Deal Extreme, obviously. Um, I ordered this as well. This is a little um, butane torch lighter. Um, I'm not going to turn it on, obviously, but yeah, it's got locks and everything. This was about $2.70, I think. So everything from Deal Extreme is real cheap. Um, and then for about $2, I think, I got two of these. And I'm the kind of guy who likes to carry a pocket knife around, but with these, I don't have to anymore. These are called uh, wallet utility tools, and you take this and you put it in one of your uh, credit card slots. And then let me pull it out here, and it's just got a bunch of tools. Like, it's got a knife right here and right here. It's got a saw blade here, and then it's just got a bunch of other stuff. It's got a... Uh, nut tightener here and this is supposed to be a flathead screwdriver and a bottle opener and just a bunch of stuff and I found it really useful actually um, you get two of those for like two dollars so it's, it's a really good deal um, and then these just real quick they're mesh glasses um, I play a little bit of airsoft I needed these these are like five bucks they're like thirty if you buy them where I live, so yeah, they work. They were like five bucks. Um, next, I ordered a pair of genuine Apple headphones for about six bucks, and they're the ones that came with the uh, third gen shuffle. So they have the volume controllers, and um, they're a little bit shorter than normal. But uh, and then those fake MP3 players I showed you came with couple pairs of crappy headphones. Those are useless. Um, I ordered a stylus for my touch devices. Pretty standard. You should be able to figure that one out. And then for my iPhone, I ordered screen guards. There's one for the front, one for the back. I didn't use the one for the front. I just wanted it for the back. This was, see, it's iPhone 4, front and back, whatever. This was like a dollar and fifty cents. Um, and then, let's get into, uh, good headphones. If you're looking for, uh, good headphones, like those Beats, well, get them from Deal Extreme. Because I've got a pair of Tours, fake Tours here. They, they sound just like the real ones. These were four dollars. These are great headphones. I use these when I work out. Um, and then, here I've got a pair of, uh, fake solos. They're the white ones. Um, except for the markings along the top. They look exactly like them. They sound exactly like them. And um, I love these headphones. These are my everyday headphones. I use them non-stop. I love them. I actually love them so much that I went ahead and ordered another pair of them. So I have two pairs here. Um, so yeah, those are really nice. Those are about ten dollars. I recommend those highly. You can't search Beats though. You gotta search like designer headphones. Um, and then here's a wall adapter for a USB charger. This was like a dollar. Picked it up one day. Um, I'm getting pretty close to the end here. Um, I. No, I ordered some other stuff. It was real little. Like, I ordered a pack of cleaning cloths and stuff. But other than that, that's really about all I've ordered. Including, um, I ordered... Oh, I guess I ordered these. I can show these. For my iPod Touch, I ordered these two hard cases. They've got felt on the inside. And I ordered a green one and a red one, and they're just, um two piece they're for the iPod Touch second and third generation they're really nice I used the green one for a long time I actually haven't used the red one yet but um I've got a Belkin silicone case on it right now I've got a Belkin on both my iPod and my iPhone so and I still have one order waiting to come in I ordered um an armband and a aluminum and plastic case for this and that was about six bucks for both of them. Um, that's about it for this video, guys. Bye.